of checkpoints and once again you know the drill sitting back relaxing in the awesome couch oh yes and uh, we are gonna take a look at pier 17 from crisis 2 if I'm ready you have to be ready so here we go preparation section boom you have the DSG-1 sniper rifle or the SCAR rifle. I think you should really utilize the sniper when you can and Pier 17 is one of those maps that you actually can utilize them if you're playing in the right way, okay? And of course, looking at the modules, the first one is the proximity alarm. Uh, hearing an automatic warning when an enemy is nearby is really good and as you level this module up, the intensity of the alarm gets higher. There's gotta be a lot of people running around so having that extra sort of protection with the proximity alarm is actually really, really effective. So looking at the second module for this map, we have the blind spot, of course very very helpful because it provides that protection from enemy maximum radar bonus and with it, with the upgrades you get protection from enemy tagging as well as become less visible to enemies in nanovision. So you really can't go wrong with this perk on this map since it is very sort of close quarters if you stay away from the middle area. So scoping in at the third module for this map we have Retriever and if you don't know it will automatically collect the dog tags from the person you kill. So playing sniper rifle on this map with the long distances you don't have to actually run up to the person and pick up the dog tag you can just use this module and you will automatically pick up the dog tags. And if you're good enough to upgrade this, uh, this uh, module right here you will get support bonuses that require one less dog tag to activate. You want to avoid the center of the map as much as possible. You want to avoid the damaged river taxi area, but also the wooden promenade area. Just because you are so very much exposed from all the buildings surrounding it, then it's sort of a uh, upside down U shape, if you will, of buildings just surrounding it. So avoid that area as much as possible. But if you do need to make a shortcut through that area, uh, use stealth, just as I'm showing right here. Make yourself uh, less visible and uh, just quickly get out, of the, get out of the way and get inside the buildings. But yeah, we're gonna talk about each of these different areas as, as you can see right here, but we're gonna begin with the damage pier building aka the mall. So uh, taking a look at the mall, my main focus will be while playing crash site on this map with the drop pods, how to position yourself and whatnot, but just before we get going into that whole area, I just wanna mention this quick tip here. You will see a lot of people up here. On the third floor of the mall, you're gonna see a lot of people camping either with sniper or rifles. They're gonna be stealth. Just be aware of this position because you will see a lot of people on the third floor on the mall. So looking at the drop pod on the back side of the mall, we have sort of two locations that I want to highlight to you guys. The first one being this one, next to this uh, poster. If you stealth in and you're extremely, extremely still, you will be able to trick a lot of people just running by. You can shoot them in the back or whatever. The second one is this, either to the left of the stairs, under the stairs, or to the right of the stairs. And in either of these locations, you can actually capture the drop pod, meaning more points to your team while still having a good defense for yourself. So now let's head inside the mall and take a look at the positions around the drop out over there. Your teammates or your opponents are gonna go ahead and gonna sit in this location right here. This is the most common and usual position inside the mall while capping this drop out. So I, what I want you to do is head over next to this flower bed right here. Either stealth or just sit here. This is a good and actually actually a good vantage point while capping this drop pod while still getting the points while still having a good defense you can also jump up into the flower bed stealth in and actually have a really really good cover but do you know do have in mind that if they're using nanovision they will be able to spot you quite easily just remember when you're stealthing in sitting in bushes and stuff like that remember to not move a limb the more you move the more you will uh, sort of reveal yourself so we're quickly gonna move our behind two stories up into the top floor of the mall sit outside next to this flower bed right here break this window and you will have a sort of a good visibility into the drop pod while still being uh, outside the range of flashes and nades so now we're actually gonna head down we're gonna jump down three stories to the ground level head outside to this drop pod position right here and there's actually one really fancy thing you can do right here that I actually found myself I don't know if anybody else is using it out there but I don't think so 
But yeah, this will work extra well if you're rocking the blind spot module that I did recommend for this map. You can actually jump up on this kiosk. You can actually jump up there, but still capture the drop pods. You can sit there in stealth with your blind spot third upgrade and just sit there and be all sneaky. The terminal features two great line of sights. And I also need you to be aware of this uh, this hotspot. So what you want to do is you want to head up these stairs. And this is a very common spot for a lot of snipers and riflemen alike. So if you're being shot from somewhere, uh, this might be the location that the, uh, the villain is shooting from. So yeah, they're probably just going to stealth out of it, shoot a couple of bullets, stealth back in. And as you can see right here, also features great line of sight to most of the drop pods that are located on the outside while your team is over there capping you can actually defend pretty good from over here it is a very common spot so while trying to mix it up you can actually walk on the corner of the uh, the broken uh, floor right there if you strafe towards the wall you can head over to this location right here and this is not you know totally uncommon but it is more uncommon than the uh, line of sight that i just show you so the final thing i want to show you guys when it comes to the terminal is with the drop pods if you're playing crash sites drop pods you want a good uh, sort of cap in position what you can do is actually head up these stairs a bit to the middle of the stairs and you can actually camp in this position and actually if they're coming from the water you can spot their feet before they can spot you you can actually have a uh, sort of a good position if they're throwing in nades you can have sort of a good cover uh, and you can uh, sort of run to safety if you have to but yeah a really good position while uh, trying to uh, bring in points toward your team so boom, there we go guys, remember now, remember, use your stealth efficiently and also move on the sides of the map instead of over it, okay? Don't cross it, go around, that is the key here. And also, think about everything we talked about, go practice now, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode, I'm out, see you next time guys, bye! Game Breaker TV.